Hi, I'm Kate Zulo, Head of Education here at the Litchfield Historical Society. Valentine's Day is just around the corner, so for today's Crafternoon, we're going to be talking all about Victorian Valentines and sharing a few techniques to inspire your own Valentine making at home. So in the mid-1800s, new technologies made paper making and printing easier and cheaper than ever before. And it's during this time period, this Victorian era, that the custom of sending these elaborately decorated greeting cards to your friends and families and, of course, loved ones for Valentine's Day really takes off, both in Britain and here in the United States. And let me tell you, these cards are exceptional. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Take a look at some of these Valentines from the collection here at the Litchfield Historical Society. These Victorian Valentines were small works of art, oftentimes adorned with lace, beads, satin, feathers, and even small bits of fabric. Admirers could spend hours working on handcrafting these lavish multi-layered cards. So you'll notice with a lot of these Valentines, there's some sort of movable or mechanical part. So maybe there is a door that opened or something that popped up on the inside. And today I want to show you how to make one particularly fun style of paper art known as the cobweb. Also called beehives or bird cages, it was basically a piece of paper that was cut in such a way that when you pull up on the center, it reveals a message on the inside. So let me show you how to make your own cobweb card. The first thing you'll need to do is just decorate your card. Doilies, stamps, stickers, all of these work great. Remember, it's Victorian inspired, so the more the better. To make the cobweb, you're gonna need to start with a circle of paper. You want it to be large enough to cover your middle image. Fold the circle in half, and then fold the circle in half again. You can even fold the circle in half for a third time. To make the cobweb design, you're gonna wanna cut the folded circle into strips, but you're not gonna wanna cut those strips all the way across, just most of the way. And you're gonna wanna alternate size. See how I'm turning the circle in between each strip that I cut. Next, open up the cut circle and lay it flat. Careful not to tear any of the strips. You're gonna wanna attach a piece of string to lift the center of the circle. I'm going to use a needle with my thread, but you could also attach the thread using tape or glue. The last step is to glue your cobweb over the middle image. And there is your cobweb card. So there you go. A little inspiration from the Victorian time period for your own Valentines. Unfortunately, we weren't able to have our annual Victorian Valentine workshop this year but we will be back next year in person and hopefully you can join us then. In the meantime, have a wonderful crafternoon.